And Cheryl, I talked with several of the passengers who came here to the hospital and left this afternoon after receiving treatment for minor injuries. Those passengers I talked with described the first 10 minutes of their trip when the bus driver swerved for the first time on the highway. Their trip finally came to an end 20 minutes outside of Augusta with the bus driver in handcuffs. He'd probably been completely drunk while he got on the bus or inebriated in some way while he got on the bus. Sireas Kataria says within minutes of their trip from Atlanta to Augusta, the bus driver swerved, alarming everyone on the bus. A passenger shared this photo of the driver, Stephen Hoppenbrauer, being walked away from the bus after the crash. The only scene or only image of him that I have was him walking with four state troopers towards uh, their patrol cars. And then immediately after that, I saw them giving a breathalyzer and a sobriety test. And right after that, they put him in handcuffs. Hoppenbrower was booked into the Columbia County Jail this afternoon. He's being charged with a drug-related DUI. Kataria says 20 minutes outside of Augusta, the crash happened. The bus left the roadway, went onto the right shoulder. The driver overcorrected, flew back over both lanes and onto the median where the bus flipped. And as it was scraping along the bottom of the grass in the median, uh, a lot of people got injured because, the, because of the broken glass. 12 passengers quickly got off the bus, but six could not get off until minutes later when first responders rescued them. At least three people who've uh, got compound fractures and two who have broken backs. Kataria says Hoppenbrower was the only one with a seatbelt on the bus and walked away uninjured. The passengers were in disbelief on the side of the highway. But he definitely did look inebriated because he was limping a little and he was walking a little funny. And tonight, Stephen Hoppenbrower is charged with that drug-related DUI and also failing to maintain his lane. But the Georgia State Patrol investigation is not yet complete and more charges could be added. Reporting in Augusta tonight, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News.